Good evening, my great people. This evening, I would like to talk briefly about change. I would like to emphasize today, everyone has got a seed of change in them. Inside yourself, you have got a seed of change. What you just need to do is to nurture that seed of change and to grow and then you can change the world, you can change yourself, you can change your environment, you can change your family, you can change your community, you can change your country Kenya, and you can change the universe. You have got that seed of change in you. I'm emphasizing once of John President John F. Kennedy, the former president of US. So I want to emphasize to you, everybody has got a seed of change. No one has been born to be conservative. No one has been born that you cannot change. No one has been born that you cannot bring a change. And you see, the, for you to bring a change, there is the importance of taking action. Deciding, you may decide something and you don't take action. Deciding is not action. I'm going to give you an allegory. An example of something, of five frogs. Five frogs were sitting on a rock. Four decided to jump off. Four decided to jump off out of the five frogs. How many were left on the rock? Many people, many would view, and they would calculate to their mathematics, and they say five minus four, it is one. It is not true. These five frogs decided, four decided that they are going to jump off the floor, of the log. Did they jump? They did. Deciding and not taking action. So what am I saying? I'm saying when you decide on something, take action. Be proactive. Not just deciding and saying, I will do, I will do, I will do, I will do. Do it that time. If you want to have a change, take action. Hope you have got it. The second point, no change is small. No change is small. Whatever change you are doing, even if it is so small, just as certain Chinese philosophers said, a kilometer or a mile starts with one step. When you make one step, you are going to change the world. And so what am I trying to say? Well, I'm going to give an example. One time, there was a storm which appeared in a certain beach and it swept certain ocean and it swept the starfish and then there was a boy, a young boy, who was picking the starfish one by one and returning it to the ocean. To a normal mind, it looked something very foolish. And so that time, there was a old man who was walking along the beach. And then when he was walking, he came where this young boy was. And so he asked him, he asked this boy, do you know what you are doing? Look at the ocean. What are you going to do with this starfish? There are very many. So even if the ocean is big, the boy asked, you don't see any difference? The old man was saying, I don't see any difference. But the young boy told him this, this small fish, it will make a difference. I have saved the life of that small fish. Tied up with this, there was a couple who adopted two boys from Ethiopia, which that time, Ethiopia had a population of 4.5 million. Now they have a population of around 1.5 million. In this year, the year 2023, they had 1.5 million. So now, someone was asking, what impact will you have on just adopting just two boys from a population of 4.5 million? Adopting those 2.5 million is going to make a change on those two boys. So what am I saying? Do something very small. Even if it is 
helping the community, even if it is a children's home, even if it is another place, another family suffering, even if you help them with a packet of hunger, it's going to help them. It's going to make a change. There is no change with which is new. Thank you very much. I hope these two facets of change, if you practice them, they can make a difference in the life of humanity. Thank you very much for listening to me. I'm Mutia Rukwaru. You are your family therapist and a relationship coach from a moment of Rukwaru YouTube channel. Thank you. Adios.